So we're looking at Goya's painting, most commonly known as the Inquisition scene, and this painting has other names such as the Inquisition Tribunal and the Court of the Inquisition. It was painted by the Spanish artist Francisco Goya from 1812 to 1819 in Spain, and it currently resides in Real Academia de Bellas in Madrid. And so what is being shown here is the Spanish Inquisition, which is something that Goya would obviously have been very close to living in Spain. And so this began, this Inquisition began in 1478 in order to maintain Catholic orthodoxy in kingdoms, and it didn't end until 1834. In this specific painting, these men are being accused of heresy, reversing their opinions contradictory to that of the orthodox religion. In this case, it was Christianity. Uh, this painting was held inside of a church, and what is going on here is an auto de fe, or in translation to English, an act of faith. This was an accusation of heretics by a tribunal of the Spanish Inquisition held inside of a church. And speaking of the church, this setting is very important because the the gloomy yellow creates a dim lighting, giving the pieces spooky feel like something isn't quite right. And so the exclusive use of yellow, brown, and black really accomplishes this, and it sets the dim, downhearted tone of the people as well. Uh, exactly, and the people in this painting really take up most of the space. It really creates a claustrophobic feeling, even though the church is so big. These people are crowded together, and they blend in with each other almost, kind of drifting off into the background. Yeah, the people seem to go off into infinity as if there's no real end to them shown. Uh, and they just sort of blend out, but it seems clear that the crowd goes even beyond the realm of this painting. And directly around the accuser, the inquisitors, the men dressed in black who have a bit more of the focus, and the man farther back holds his book open, reading the charges against the accused men. Yeah, exactly, and their attention is toward the four men on trial, and the viewer's attention really goes directly uh, to the man who seems to be elevated above the rest. He's sitting in his chair with his head bent down, and then his, his head droops down, making him look utterly defeated and broken. Yeah, the three other accused men have a similar demeanor, but this man is still separated from the rest of them because he's the one currently being accused. And this fear sort of comes from the fact that these men will most certainly be punished and tortured, as was common during the Inquisition. Uh, even the people in the background seem to fear what is going on, and uh, this really connects to the themes of Romanticism, which is the overarching art movement of the time. Uh, the, one of the main themes here was definitely emotions, and the artist was focusing on creating the um, creating a sense of feeling in the viewer and trying to evoke emotion out of them. And he really does a great job in creating the, uh, this doom and just sorrow and fear uh, in the facial expressions of the four men on trial. Yeah, and so this, even the perception of man really connects to the themes of uh, romanticism because it shows man is violent. As these men are accused... Uh, are, are accusing these people of violent things while threatening violent consequences. And so the doom created with the color faces and overall tone reflects the idea of man's flaws and destruction as shown in romantic uh, nature paintings. Uh, I think th uh, the themes and imagery here is a really good reflection uh, in Goya's other painting called The Third of May. In both of his paintings, there is a sense of impending doom and an emphasis on the color yellow to create this. While The Third of May directly shows man's violence, the impending violence of the Inquisition scene is just uh, extremely clear as it shows the violence of man, which is a very reoccurring theme in Romanticism.